I think we can all agree that if you are a serial killer with at least eight kills confirmed and as many as 185 kills claimed, you should be serving hard time. And the harder, the better. But the truth is, you might not. I know this because the killer in question is my pen pal, Keith Jesperson, better known as the Happy Face Killer. He is serving multiple life sentences in Oregon, and in the past month alone, he has sent me multiple letters. Um, and if I had to pick one word to describe them, it would probably have to be, like, fascinating. Uh, Happy Face describes in detail the perks that he's getting in prison, including mini golf and Xbox, just to name a few. And he insists that it is now safe to let him back out into society, to roam about the cabin with the rest of us. Uh, spoiler, that ain't happening. And this is where the letter gets really good, because he tells me how he's spending his time as a convicted serial killer, like the whole schedule of his every day. Here's what he says. OSP, Oregon State Prison, and Oregon's prison system is based on incentives, things that can be taken away if we do bad things. Clear conduct is rewarded. I'm sort of an icon in here. All the guards know me and most of the inmates. Uh, what is my day like? I live in a single cell in D block, D160. At about 6.15 a.m., my cell door opens and I walk to breakfast. Return is 30 minutes or so. I could go to the yard at 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Most days, I stay in my cell doing artwork and watching TV. Perry Mason comes on at 9 a.m. Me TV. Uh, we have a count at 10.30 a.m. At around 11.15, we start lunch. At around 1.15 p.m., afternoon yard. Usually, I go to my job when afternoon yard is over. Normal work schedule starts at 2.30 p.m. My work is in the clothing room. I've had the job now for about 14 years. Back in my cell by 3.30 p.m. for count at 4 p.m. Supper starts at 5 p.m. After the meal, I go to work until 8 p.m. But most nights were done by 7.30 p.m. I rush home to watch, I thought he was going to say Banfield, but he said Gutfield <laughs> on Fox. <laughs> he watches Greg Gutfield. Okay. Um, after which I tune into a country song station to listen to Willie Nelson's Roadhouse. Saw him in person back in 1985 and 1987. Sleep comes at 9 p.m. Just a quick aside there. Can you imagine if you were at that concert? Either one of those concerts with Willie Nelson's um, 85 and 87 Roadhouse concerts? You were there with the Happy Face Killer. Ooh. Okay, as it turns out, the, um, the real reason that his schedule is like that is because there are plumbing issues in the honor block. And the honor block is where he's usually housed. I want you to listen to how Jesperson, who again is serving multiple life sentences for killing eight women, uh, describes the honor block. This is what he writes. At 5.30 a.m., my door opens and stays open until 10.30 count and 4.30 count and 9 p.m. count up until 11 p.m. I have a lock on my door and a key on me. When we leave ourselves, we can lock them with our lock. We have our own showers, pop machine, telephones, microwave ovens, exercise equipment, Xbox, TVs, 190 degree water, tablet, and I'm sure I'm leaving something out, kiosks for video visits. And that, by the way, is just sort of like inside the warm prison walls. Here's how he describes the outside rec yard, which I thought was fascinating. He writes, we have a grandstand set up uh, to set up for bands, bands like musical bands to come in and entertain us. I think of Johnny Cash, right, at Folsom Prison. Um, every year we have a custom bike and car show that comes in. Uh, runners from all over the country run in our events, 5K, 10K, 15K, you can go online. We have a quarter mile paved track, two baseball fields, volleyball area, eight horseshoe pits. First thing I thought of, <laughs> and he says they are real steel horseshoes. Uh, we have an 18 hole putt putt golf course, got handball courts, two full outside basketball courts, two weight training areas, 
40 phones, 30 benches to sit on. Inside our card room, which is seen in the opening scenes of Bandits movie starring Bruce Willis and Billy Bob Thornton, we have TVs for movies and sports. We have shuffle boards, pool tables, ping pong tables, 30 card tables, phones, soda machines, coffee machines, exercise equipment, full inside basketball court, microwave ovens, a shower room, and a couple of heavy bags to hit. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.